hello everyone how are you guys doing today welcome to my podcast and um, my name is edith brimo how are you guys doing today i want to thank you for downloading this podcast i really really appreciate it uh today we're going to be discovering a topic about cakes how to make your cakes crave vegetables how to make them eat vegetables we all know that eating fruits and vegetables is very very important but how do you get kids to eat more of this food this is where the challenge is guys you know what i have a six years old boy and there was a day i told him that oh if you behave well at school today when you come back home i'm gonna get you the biggest the giant lollipop in the store you know what he said to me he said mom you know that it's candy and it's not healthy. I was ashamed of myself. I was really, really ashamed. I said, I'm supposed to be encouraging healthy lifestyle. Rather, I am not doing that. For that moment, I changed and I begin to encourage my kids to eat healthy. And I encourage my boy to eat uh, fruits and vegetables. And today, I just struggle to make him eat his vegetables. He'd love it because I told him the benefits of fruits and vegetables. So, now let's go straight into this talk today. We strive to teach manners, independence, and kindness to our children, but we oftentimes fail to teach something just as important as eating fruits and vegetables, the value of exercise and healthy eating. The majority of your child's attitude about food and nutrition, they are desire to be physically active and even their weight will come directly from their parents. Now, first and foremost, childhood obesity has the greatest link to the foods the child consumes. It has been found weight is directly linked to calories. So to gain weight, a person must consume more calories than they are burning. The specific calorie amount necessary will be based on on age and gender. For example, a moderately active child between four and eight years old, we need 1400 to 1600 daily calories. Regardless of the specifics guys, making changes to diets of an obese child will, without a doubt, make a difference in their health. Unhealthy options such as junk food and fast food we need to be cut out and substituted with veggie, which may mean changing the lifestyle of everyone in the family, in the home, pushing through fresh vegetables and fruit as snacks and offering healthy meal options along with portion control we aid in treating childhood obesity is your child obese are you struggling in getting your children eat fruits and vegetables you need to start now you know what i tell my kids i tell my little boy i said you know what carrots make your eyes bright and make your eyes able to see and I say, you know what? You got to eat it to make you healthy. And so sometimes it will ask me, Mom, can you give me a carrot? I want my eyes to be really nice. I want to be able to see clearly. I don't want to be blind when I get old. I want to eat vegetables. So you need to let your kids know the benefits of the fruits and vegetables. That is one way to get them crave for it. Okay? Parents, it is your job to help shape the taste buds of your children. View about food and weight for life that doesn't mean your kids should never have a cookie you can also make healthy cookie cauliflower cookies are there it's not a bad thing for a child to have a cookie when you let that child have cookies every day that is where the problem is it just means that these foods shouldn't be the norm teach your kids about which foods make them strong and which foods make them weak by using the words and phrases they we understand such as 
This salad will help you grow tall. Or this apple makes mommy brain super strong. I do tell my kids that apple a day will keep you away from the doctor. And now they love to eat apple almost every day. Oh, okay. Most importantly, if your child already has a weight problem or less than perfect eating habit, it is not too late to help him or her change. The step is recognizing the problem and working together with your child to change behavior. I am happy to keep my non-form mom status if that means that I can help my son be a healthy eater and maintain a normal weight throughout his life. One day he will pass the same habit down to his children and perhaps then he realized just how fun being healthy, staying fit and avoiding sick Sickness can really be. Be the fun parent. Your kids will thank you one day for it. So now I'm going to leave you with some tips that will help you with your children to make them crave vegetables. Okay. Uh, provide fruits and vegetables as snacks when they're going to school. Keep fruit washed. Cut up and implant in plain size in, in plain sight in the refrigerator. Okay. Serve salad more often, please, and garnish it very well. Uh, garnish it very well, make it colorful to attract the kids to eat it. Teach your child what an appropriate amount of salad dressing is and how it can be ordered on the side. Okay, try out vegetable recipe for spaghetti, lasagna, chili, or other food using vegetables instead of meat. Include at least one leafy green or yellow vegetable for vitamin A, such as spinach, broccoli, winter squash, greens, or carrot each day. I use carrot all the time because I do let my kids know, do you want to see clearly when you get old? Now you got to start eating carrot. You got to start eating spinach. And now they love it. They crave for it. Whenever I make food and they, they don't see carrot or vegetables or spinach, they will say mom where is the vegetable so you know sometimes they do remind me so please you need to try for your children to get to that point whereby they can even remind you and say mom where is the vegetable dad where is the veggie okay include at least one vitamin c rich fruits or vegetables such as oranges grapefruit strawberry melon tomato and broccoli each day add a fruit or vegetable as a part of every meal or snack okay all right more tips for you be sure your child is getting the recommended amount of fruits and vegetables each day when shopping for food, start in the area of the store where they keep fresh fruits and vegetables, not candy, okay? Not candy area, all right? Avoid buying high-calorie foods such as chips, cookies, and candy bars. Your child may not ask for these treats if they are not inside. You know, I told you the story of my son when I, I promised to get him in the giant lollipop. And he told me, oh, mom, that is not healthy at all. So I was really ashamed of myself. So please let us make our kids crave vegetables. Limit or eliminate how much fruit juice you give your child. And make sure it is 100% juice, not juice drinks. Some parents, we do give our children juice. Oh, oh my God, I can't even imagine that juice every day morning afternoon evening juice 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 they can't even drink water let's let our kids drink water teach them how to live healthy even at a tender age when they grow up they will not depart from it they will pass that to their kids and the generation to come will live a healthy lifestyle Eat as a family whenever possible, okay? Research shows that kids eat more vegetables and fruits and less fried food and uh, sugary drinks when they eat with the entire family. Lastly, by choosing health-promoting food, you can establish good nutritional habits in your child that will last for the rest of his or her life. I have come to the end of this podcast, guys. Please press the subscribe button and subscribe to this podcast. Pass this more, share it with friends and family. 
Our kids need to crave vegetables. Let's put a stop to obesity. Till then, eat healthy, live healthy, and be healthy. Watch out for the next episode of this podcast. This is episode number six anyway. Next episode number seven is on its way next week. Bye for now.